Today's the day to take down the barn quilt because we sold the property over a year ago, I think. <clears throat> and we now have our own building to put it on. One of the fears was if there's any wasp nest up in there. It might be the last three. Yep. Looking for some treated lumber or treated plywood, three quarter inch thick. I think there's some fence boards that are treated out here in the side shed. So right here. See? That would probably be the easiest. Yeah. We'll just do that. All right. what I just added when I'm using the chop saw. You got something long? You got something long and set around there. That is what matters. He decided to cut two boards at one time. I'm efficient. That's why. Measure seven foot. Get a splinter. Mm. 
All right, here's where we're gonna put the barn quilt that we took down from across the road. We're gonna put it right here, right in between these two windows. What we did, we measured exactly between the two windows, made a mark. It's right there. And then we measured over four foot each way because uh, the quilt is eight by eight. It's two four by eight pieces of plywood which makes it eight by eight. So there's where the right edge will go. And the left edge is over here behind the ladder somewhere, right there. And then we're gonna use these treated boards to put up between the ribs in the metal, like that. And that will get the quilt away from the ribs and allow it to be fastened to the, two bo to the three boards that we've cut. So I'm gonna get them put up and we'll see if we can get the quilt put up. And we're gonna be using two inch screws through the boards. And if you'll notice where the screws are in the metal, there's a two by six on the inside of the building behind those screws. So anywhere in this area is gonna be good. And I'll, I will be fastening into some two by sixes on the inside. The boards are seven foot because the quilt is eight foot. Right. And here's a mark for the top of the quilt. So I'm going to bring the board down six inches. Ready? Yeah. All right, that hit that tube of six. I could feel it. So. Two more to go. Daryl went to get the tractor because we're going to put the bottom piece of the barn quilt on the bucket to help hold it in place while he screws it into the braces that we put on the side of the building. We got the bottom screwed in with two screws. We had to, we can't use the original screw holes that they had just because of the placement of the come out of uh, the rib, but we don't of want the that. boards. Right. So we needed to screw this here along with our two by six or whatever's on mm. the back side. Right. So we had to shift it up just a little bit because this was our mark down here where we wanted to. We're about two inches higher than we were before. Yeah. But that's okay. Right. That's going through two by six piece of metal, the piece of treated, and the quilt. So I think that'll hold. And I'm using two inch screws, so. Today, they took down the barn quilt off of what used to be our barn, but we sold it about a year ago. And then we moved it to our new detached garage. And I think it looks lovely. Chances are we'll give it a fresh coat of paint eventually and brighten it up a bit but all in all i love it and so excited to have it over here on our detached garage barn quilts up so if you ever have a barn quilt put on a barn and you sell the property that the barn's on you can move it but it really helped to have that forklift that's a friend's and he let me borrow it and it really made it work well over there on the barn because that was high but there it is it's completed
We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. And we'd love it if you would subscribe to our channel. Thanks.